welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing an in-depth um, highlight and contour routine for you guys, step by step, one by one, so you guys can really see how I do it and maybe you guys aren't really into contouring yet, but it really does make a huge difference if you contour under your cheekbones, under your jawline, top of your forehead, um, the sides of your nose and under your lip, like this literally makes such a big difference. Um, it's going to make your face look more defined. It's going to make your cheeks look higher. It's going to make your jaw look more um, thinner. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I contour and highlight, then please keep watching. Alright, so I'm going to start off by just pinning my hair back out of my face with these bobby pins because I lost my other cute little sparkly clips to hold my hair back, but whatever. All right, so I'm gonna start off just by putting this um, Lucky Bamboo Gel Cream all over my face. This stuff I just got in um, my, support, my Sephora gift bag. Uh, me and my sister spent over $85 um, and they gave us so much free stuff. Look at all this free stuff they gave us. And they're all like pretty big. I mean, they're travel size, but this is a lot of stuff. It's going to last me a while and I'm excited to try everything. Anyway, this stuff was in there and it's like a hydrating moisturizer, but it's not oily. So it's perfect to use under your makeup since it's not oily. I told you guys, I'm like on my skincare game lately, so I've been putting moisturizer on before my makeup in the morning and also at night before I go to sleep. But this stuff is like super tacky. It almost feels dry like a primer, but I just like how it's not oily. Every other moisturizer I use feels oily and this is like dry sticky and dry okay so i'm using the vitamin glow <clears throat> primer by smashbox I'm just going to be putting that priming my face if i could get it open this is my first time using this primer so we'll see how it goes You really want to prime your face just so everything sticks and stays all day. And you want to let the primer dry completely after you put it on. Oh, by the way, I did my eye makeup already just because I really want to focus on like just contour and highlighting. So, okay, so next up, we're gonna do foundation. Today, I'm gonna be using a mix between the Estee Lorde Double Wear Foundation and the Fenty Beauty. One's just darker and one's lighter. I always like to mix two because I have like weird skin tone right now. Like I'm not tan, but I'm not pale. So I like to mix both colors. All right, now that I have my foundation on my sponge, I'm just gonna dab that all over my face. just to get a base on before I start contouring and highlighting. See, this is exactly why I like doing my eyes after my face because I always feel like I fuck up my eyebrows when I do it like this. Like, does anyone else feel like this? Like, I feel like every girl always does their eyebrows first and I literally don't understand it because you have to put a full face on after and they just get all messed up. a little light for my skin as you can see it's not really matching that well 
So I might put a little more of the darker over just to blend everything together. and highlighting. I'm using the Fenty Beauty matchstick in the color Truffle. It's just, I think, the darkest shade in this line, so I figured it would be good to contour with. And then I'm using um, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, of course. This is my all-time favorite concealer. I use it every day. I still have yet to find one that I like better. It just is like a full coverage concealer. It looks good. It doesn't crease. Um, it's really good. So I'm just going to start off by making the number three. On both sides of my face. down the sides of my nose and underneath my lip. And then I'm just gonna take the concealer and put that directly under my eyes. on the bridge of my nose, a little bit in the middle of my forehead, the middle of my chin. bronzer and then I just go over the spots where I contour just to make it more like defined so I'm just taking my hula bronzer and I'm doing that literally in the same spots where I put the contour just to darken everything up look a little harsh right now but once I blend everything out with my um, powder and put blush and everything it'll come together nicely okay so next up um, I'm gonna bake underneath my eyes and underneath my contour just to make it more defined and I like my nose to look narrow so I do make my contour like kind of close together I did have a nose job about 10 years ago, so it's not that I like don't like my nose, I just, um, I like it to look more narrow. Okay, so I'm taking my um, Chianti London setting powder, and then I'm just going to take my small Ange Jeremy brush, and we're going to put that 
underneath the eyes to set the concealer and underneath the contour just to make everything look sharp And then we're gonna leave the setting powder on for a couple minutes just to set the face. And then after that, we just have blush and highlighter and of course setting spray and then lippy and we'll be all done. Okay, while that's setting, I'm just gonna put on um, some blush. I'm using my Sephora blush palette. It's the blush palette I always use. I use the middle two colors. It's like a light pink and a peachy. Smile, dab it on. I know it looks like a lot, but like I said, I always put powder on in the end just to like blend everything together. And for powder, I'm using the Studio Fix by MAC um, in color NC35. This is my favorite setting powder. I just repurchased it, um, just got it in the mail like the other day. But this has always been my favorite powder. together girl I need a tan I'm pale as fuck all right next up we have highlight so I'm using the Carly Bybel um it's an eyeshadow and highlight palette. I use mostly all the highlights in here, but um, I'm using, I used all of the first pan, so now I'm using all of the second pan. So, and then I use this little highlight fan brush. It works really good. Just to do the bridge of your nose, cheekbones, and then I do my Cupid's bow. And I'm taking um, the Morphe Jeff by Jeffree Star. This smells like strawberries. It smells so good. Setting spray. I'm just putting that all over my face. Oh, I feel like it wasn't coming out that good. All right, and last but not least, we have lips. I'm using my NARS lip liner. Uh, I can't even see the color anymore because it's so small now, but. And you guys saw how I contoured underneath the bottom of my lip and a little bit on the top. This is gonna make your lips look way bigger than they are. And for lipstick, I'm using the Tarte Lip Paint. Um, I just got this also from Ulta. I don't necessarily like the color. It's a, I like a more rosy color. This is like a little too pale, but we're going to use it today anyway.
And then for gloss, I'm using the gloss I always use, um, the Carly by Val Il Miguelage collection. Um, this is in the color Twilight. It's just the prettiest shimmer just to put over your lipstick. I usually just put it on my Cupid's bow in the middle. You see that how it makes it shimmery in the middle? I just think it looks so good. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know it wasn't like super in depth with contour and highlight, but I think you guys pretty much can get the gist of it from this video. Um, this video shouldn't be too, too long. I hope I'm not really sure. I didn't look at the footage yet, but yeah, if you like this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in more upcoming videos.